Hi, my name is Dan Payton. I'm with Easy Homes. Today we're going to give you a quick demonstration on how to winterize your mobile home. The tools that you're going to need will be a couple of hand tools. You're going to need an air compressor with a hose and a special adapter for connecting up to the water uh, faucet. You're going to need a, a, a typical garden hose, some RV antifreeze, and a bucket. And that's really all you need to get started. First thing we're going to do though is go out and shut off the water and then we'll get started on the winterization. Our next step is to come outside here and find the, uh, the cold water shutoff, which we've done. And this one happens to be located uh, under the home. So we just reached in there, uh, turned the, uh, the shutoff valve to the off position, and now we're ready to go back into the home and uh, start our uh, next step, which is draining the hot water tank. So here we are at the uh, hot water tank. Uh, and we're getting ready to do a drain on this. So obviously the first thing we want to do is uh, make sure we turn off the gas to the hot water tank. And we're going to do that by uh, getting down there and, and actually finding that gas valve and turning it to the off position. And here we are down at the gas valve. We're going to turn it to the off position, which we've just done. And now we're ready to uh, hook up the hose to the hot water tank. And here we are now at the uh, hot water tank with our garden hose. We've located the drain valve here at the uh, bottom end of the hot water tank. And all we're going to do now is simply attach the garden hose to that uh, outlet. All right, now before we uh, open up this valve here with our flat tip screwdriver, we're going to make sure we've got our garden hose running out through the home and out to the uh, outside of the home. And so let's go check that real quick. So here we are with our garden hose running through the home, out through the living room here and out the, uh, the front door. That was our closest door to the where we could drain the water. And of course I've just got it setting out here, uh, ready to open up the valve to the hot water tank and let that water run. Here we go. And here we are back at the hot water tank. We've confirmed our hose is running out of the home. And so now we're gonna just uh, get our screwdriver into this valve and turn it counterclockwise and open up that valve. And I can already hear the water starting to run, run out through the hose. The other thing we've gotta do is obviously we gotta go up to our uh, valve here and this is our pressure release valve and we're going to open that up and that will really get that water going and maybe you can hear that on the video so yep, we've got our hose secured tightly we've opened the valve and water is running so now i'm out here uh with the uh, the other end of the hose and we're just out here to verify that we do have flowing water coming out of the hot water tank and sure enough here we go it's flowing pretty pretty nicely, coming out at a good pace. This will take uh, anywhere from you know 10 minutes to maybe 20 or 30 minutes to drain the hot water tank. Um, and here we go. We got nice uh, warm water flowing. Hi. Now that we have the uh, hose running out of the home or draining the hot water tank, uh, we can. There's a couple of things we can do to accelerate that uh, water to drain faster. And one of the things we, we want to do is come into either the kitchen or one of the bathrooms and just start opening the, the valves, the faucets. That will allow air into the system and that will allow the water to drain much more quickly and uh, to accelerate that whole process. Hi, while I've been waiting for the hot water tank to drain, I, uh, the next step I was preparing for is uh, over here at the washing machine and what I want to do is disconnect the hot and cold water lines from the spigots and which I've already done and now we're ready to start connecting the air compressor up to, to the hot side first and let's go ahead and uh, show you how to do that. So now I'm ready to hook up the uh, air compressor with our special adapter uh, to the hot water side and I'm going to come up uh, give you a little close-up of this adapter. This is a these are parts that you can get at any local hardware store and so take a close look at that you may want to take a picture of this uh, and take it to your hardware store and they'll help you put this uh, piece together. So it's, one side is the fitting that goes to the air hose, the other side is the fitting that goes to the uh, over to the uh, water valve. Now I'm ready to hook the air compressor up to the hot water side. 
of the uh, washing the washer connects here. Now make sure you turn off both valve, the cold and the hot side. Uh, so let's go ahead and connect the hose, the, the air hose to the hot side here. And make sure that's nice and firm and snug on there. We don't want any air escaping. So I've got it in there and uh, on there nice and snug. What we're going to do next is turn on the air compressor and after we've turned on the air compressor then we're going to open up the hot water valve. That keeps water from flowing back into the, the air hose and into your uh, air compressor. All right, now I've got the uh, air compressor running inside the house and you can see here that our hot water tank is basically drained. There's a little bit of residue coming out of there, but uh, so now I'm ready to go in and basically close the valve on the hot water tank uh, so that we can uh, push now push air into the system and clear out our lines. All right, so now, now I'm back here at the uh, hot water tank. Uh, it's completely drained, so we're gonna go ahead and close this valve here. Get that closed up. And we're gonna go up here and also I'm gonna go ahead and close the uh, this valve as well so we can push some air into the uh, water lines and drain uh, drain the plumbing system. All right, the air compressor is running. You maybe can hear it in the background. I'm in one of the bathrooms here where I can close the door so we can kind of uh, keep the noise down a little bit. But if you listen carefully, perhaps you can hear the air blowing out of the, uh, the faucet here. A lot of air coming out. Water's already been pushed through the system. I'm, I've got both the cold and the hot valves wide open here. So uh, it's doing what it's supposed to do. And that's blow the water out of the water line and uh, until you feel nothing but air. So you want to feel that air blowing on your hand. And that way you know you've uh, got rid of the water. So while that air compressor continues to run and blow air into the system, uh, I go to every faucet in the home Make sure I open them all the way up, and I'm, again, I'm looking for a nice blast of air coming through that faucet, which I'm feeling here, uh, to indicate that we've gotten all the water out of that line. Now that we've blown out the hot side of the plumbing system, we're going to move our compressor over to the cold side and, and repeat the same processes. So now we're uh, forcing air into the cold side of the uh, plumbing system. We're going to do the same steps. We're going to put all the faucets, open everything up wide open, and, and, and we're definitely going to be feeling for uh, air coming through the system, which it is. So we've got a nice, dry plumbing system uh, after we've done both the hot side and the cold side of the system. All right, now that we've uh, cleared all the lines, uh, we're going to go to the next step, and that is to uh, uh, put our or apply our RV antifreeze to the toilets and the traps. So what I like to do is take my RV antifreeze, uh, fill up my bucket with at least a gallon of it. And there's a couple of different ways you can do this. This is the way that seems to work best for me. And I'm going to apply this RV antifreeze to both the toilet tank and the toilet bowl. And uh, there's a reason that I like to do that because I like to get RV antifreeze into all the plumbing of the toilet. So the first thing I'm going to do is put this uh, RV antifreeze, about half a gallon, maybe a little bit less, into the tank itself. I'm going to try to aim for some of the plumbing components in here, the valves. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to flush the toilet and I'm going to watch that RV antifreeze flow into the toilet bowl like it's doing now. And that puts RV antifreeze into all the plumbing of the toilet. And then the, the next step is I'm going to actually pour RV antifreeze into the bowl at a, at a rapid pace so that it sort of flushes the toilet. So here we go. And that, by pouring it in quickly like that, that pushes RV antifreeze down through the trap of the toilet and protects it from cold weather. Now that we've uh, put RV antifreeze into, into the toilets, the toilet bowls and the toilet tanks, we're going to go to all the sinks and tubs and showers around the house and we're going to put you know, two or three cups into each of those so that we uh, put enough in there to push, push RV antifreeze into the traps and push out any standing water that might be in there. So we're going to go over here to the sink, 
put about two or three cups in there. Repeat that over here with the tub in, uh, in the same manner. Two or three cups. And that's enough to put RV antifreeze into those traps and push out any water and pre prevent uh, and protect that uh, trap from uh, freeze up. Okay, so that completes uh, the demonstration of how to winterize your mobile home. If you have other uh, questions about uh, your mobile home or if you're interested in possibly uh, getting a, uh, an estimate for your mobile home or you're considering selling your mobile home, uh, by all means uh, visit us at uh, our website easyhomesfast.com. Uh, take a look at all the other services we provide and important uh, uh, information about the mobile home industry as a whole. Uh, and we'd love to hear from you. Uh, so thanks for your time and thanks for watching.